I want to point out something. You see how she's chomping on the bit? I'm Larry Troca. And uh, today we're going to work this filly. She's been ridden for quite a while. Um, someone else started this filly and, and uh, did, did most of the riding. She's only been here for a short period of time. I want to point out something. You see how she's chomping on the bit? She'll start chomping on the bit whenever you ask her to do anything that she doesn't want to do or insist that she goes forward with impulsion or and sometimes she'll wring her tail. Uh, that's nothing against the horse. Uh, she will outgrow that uh, when her, as her training gets farther along. But I want to point out, she shouldn't be doing it in the first place. Chomping on the bit uh, is caused usually by two different factors. Number one, the bidding process was not done correctly, meaning they put too much pressure in the, her mouth before she understood what the bit was. And if you do that, you're going to cause a horse to chomp the bit. I've seen it a jillion times. Um, and that's why when I start a colt, I'm always really careful to, uh, she sees horses over there in the pasture. I'm always careful to just hang the bit in their mouth for a week before I ever touch it in any way, shape or form. And when I do touch it, when I do introduce pressure to the bit, it's done very lightly and for very short periods of time. So if you have a horse that's chomping on the bit, that's a possible reason. Wasn't the bit wasn't introduced correctly, okay? So now you got a problem. The other thing that'll cause a horse to chomp the bit is nervousness or fear. Too much pressure put on them too quickly. And that'll get a horse worrying and chomping the bit out of worry. And that's, but that's not the case here. Uh, the third thing that will cause a horse to chomp on the bit is uh, resentment. Resenting the rider uh, doing something with them, making them go forward or making them turn or, or something, doing something that the horse doesn't like will sometimes cause a horse to chomp the bit in an irritated way. And you'll see that here with this horse also. And here again, nothing against the horse. Uh, I think this is going to be a good horse. We just got to work through this and we will work through it. I'm, I've had enough horses like this. I've seen enough horses like this. Uh, I kind of know what the situation is and um, how to get through it. And that'll be the case here too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work this filly um, just like I normally would. My goal is to, number one, work on her suppleness, meaning she's got to give uh, to my hands, give her, her, her head to my hands, uh, relax her jaw and uh, give to me. Uh, we need her responding to my, my legs, both laterally and going forward. Going forward is called impulsion. Whenever you squeeze our, with our, your legs, your horse has to go forward with impulsion. Impulsion is going forward in a deliberate manner. Step, 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 step. A lot of people have trouble understanding that. Um, and here again, she sees a horse out here in the pasture and she wants to focus on that. We're going to change that here in a little bit. The other thing I'm going to work on is just getting her to respond. We're going to do some exercises on turning and stopping and stuff like that. And we're going to get started. I'm not going to worry at all about what she's doing with her mouth chomping the bit. If she wants to wring her tail, I'm not going to worry about that either because that will all go away. All right, we're going to continue on working on her turns. Now she's, you see her tail uh, moving? It's because she's a little resentful of my legs. She hasn't been taught to stay in front of the rider's legs. You know, she hasn't been taught to really respond to the legs. So when you see that, that tail moving and the ears and notice her mouth is kind of chomping at the bit and that's just because she's annoyed because I'm asking her to do things she's never been asked to do before. And once, after I have her for two, three months, all that will go away uh, because she will accept 
uh, my leg, she'll accept me showing her new things without her being resentful about it. That one factor alone stops a lot of people from getting their horse trained. They'll be doing something. They'll be like teaching the horse to move off the leg or, or, or they'll try to get it to, to give impulsion and stay in front of the legs and the horse will be wringing its tail and slinging its head and chomping at the bit. And the rider will go, oh, I must be doing something wrong because uh, my horse's response I'm, is, is bad. And so they'll quit. They'll just, they'll quit trying to train the horse. The reality of it is, is you're just seeing resentment on the horse's part because you're asking him to do something that you, you've never asked him to do before. In the horse's mind, he's going, hey, I've been ridden for months. I've never been asked to do this before. Why should I do it now? Once they understand that responding to the rider is part of their job, then they willingly accept it. Okay. Sit down, elbow comes back, accelerate. Sit down, elbow comes back, accelerate. Sit down, elbow comes back, accelerate. Now she resisted my hand when I turned right there. So I drive her in the left side of the bit. It was to the left there, she resisted. See so that nose going up. I'm gonna drive, drive, drive until she gives to the hand. So there we go. As soon as she gave, I gave the slack. That was her reward for responding. I'm gonna drive her vertically into the bit. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Setting the bit solid, left, right. All right, let's try that turn again. Sit down, elbow comes back. See that response? That was, that was great. Head stayed down, she gave her head. She didn't kick her butt out. That's what getting them supple will do for you. They gotta be supple. Sit down, good response. Head dropped down, she gave her head. Good. Good, see now, the, see the difference right there? Get, willingly gives her head, keeps it low, this we turn her. So we put her through some paces here. We got some stuff done. You know, pretty good, pretty good response there. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give her a break. If you drill your horse too much at one time, you're gonna cause problems. You're gonna cause them to resent being ridden. You're gonna cause them to dread being ridden. So it's important you just get, you know, five six minutes of training, then give them a break, ride them around, and then you can come back and do a couple more little sessions. I hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and click that like button and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so YouTube notifies you when I upload a new video. Leave your comments and questions in the comment section below the video. Oh, and don't forget to go to my website and get that free membership. It'll give you access to all kinds of good stuff. I mean, you'll learn a bunch. I'll have a link to it down below also. Okay, that's all for now. Take care.